S saving solar energy for rainy days? Literally. Singapore has started testing a series of energy storage facilities to ensure such power is more reliable. And it comes as the country ramps up efforts to make solar its main source of sustainable energy. It looks like just another power room at a housing block, except they contain these new installations. Power cells that store and regulate electricity coming from rooftop solar panels. Energy firm Sunsip has installed them in five blocks in Pongo as part of a trial. They're needed because solar panels don't always generate electricity, such as when it's night or raining. Without these new cells, Singapore's power grids may have a power shortage, which would require standby generators to kick in. But they're also needed when there's too much sunlight to store access energy safely and prevent a power surge. Once we set this up uh, and we collect enough data, let's say a year's long worth of data, and we come to some kind of conclusion that it's actually functioning as we expect, then we can start to roll this out um, across um, various blocks in Singapore uh, and, ho and hopefully cover um, a, a good part of the Singapore island. A larger energy storage facility developed with local firm SP Group is being tested in Woodlands. This can cater to multiple blocks within an estate and can power over 200 public housing units a day. One academic says these systems would pave the way for further deployment of solar power in Singapore. One of the sort of roadblocks to optimizing and maximizing solar capacity and solar energy is essentially this uh, solar in intermittency. So I think this whole concept of uh, energy storage system is a game changer in some sense so that it allows uh, the whole issue of solar inter intermittency to be eradicated. Tests conducted on energy storage systems will go into developing new technical guidelines for developers who wish to harness the power of the sun more effectively.